hi guys welcome back to another tutorial video in this video i'm going to show you how to create a pixel stretch effect like this in a finish photo and if you remember i also uploaded this video last month about how to create a pixel stretch effect as well okay it's actually the same technique but just a different variations that you can try if you haven't checked it out you can click on the link here and all the photos that i'm using in this video are from Asplash. If you want to download it, just click on the link in the description. Okay, so without any further ado, let's get started. Okay, so I'll be using this photo as an example. Okay, and I suggest you to use a photo like this that shows the entire body of the object. Okay, and the first step is we're going to separate the object from the background. I'm going to use freehand selection tool. You can use any tool that you want. Okay, some tips for you. When you select the object, make sure you select a little bit inside from the edges because if you select the outside part and you apply the effect, the outside part will be visible and it won't look so good. So make sure you select a little bit inside from the edges like this. Okay, after you have done with the selection, click mask layer, then press Ctrl D to the select, then duplicate this layer by pressing Ctrl J. And you can keep this one as a backup in case we need it again. Okay, and for this layer, you can right click on the mask layer and then click release mask, then merge down. Okay, after that, I'm going to create a new simple background for this object. Okay, and after that, we're going to use rectangle marquee tool to select small part of the object like this just a small part of it and then press ctrl j to duplicate then you can use move tool and then stretch it like this okay do this step for every part of this body Okay, I think that's enough for this object. And then you can merge down all of this stretch layer like this. Then we're going to remove the edges of the stretch layer because as you can see, it looks a little bit transparent. You can use rectangle marquee tool again to remove it. Oh, sorry, first you need to rasterize it. Just right click on the stretch layer and click rasterize and then use rectangle marquee tool to remove the edges like this okay and then stretches until the end of the canvas both sides left and right like this okay and then move it on top of the canvas why I'll tell you the reason later Okay, after that, go to filters, distort, 
and apply this rectangle to polar filter okay to make this rectangle pixel stretch into a circle okay like this so why did i move the layer on top of the canvas because if you put it in the middle or bottom of the canvas as you can see on top of it the layer has this blank area so when you apply this filter you will see some blank area in the center of the circle okay so that's why i move it on top of the canvas but if you want the circle to look like this you can put it on the middle or the bottom okay but i prefer this one so i put it on top after that put it below the object layer and then you can align it like this and you can see this line in the middle of the circle you can remove it using in pen go to edit and then in pen like this but sometimes it will leave another line so you can just rotate it to hide it behind the, the object like this so it won't be visible okay you can leave it like this or you can remove some part of the circle as well i will show you another variation that you can try so you can remove all of the circle and it will look like this and you can also add some shadows i will add curves adjustment and drag it inside the object layer then press ctrl i to invert and you can use brush tool and make sure the foreground color is white then just pan on the area to apply shadow like this okay so this is the final result as you can see so that was how to apply this circle pixel stretch effect in a video photo okay so that's it for this video i hope you enjoy and learn something new from this video hit that like button if you like this video don't forget to subscribe if you have already and i will see you guys in the next video